so we we this will probably be the last segment of of the night more than likely uh Wimby looks upset he doesn't look too happy okay Wimby does not like losing we've already known what Wimby has said about losing he's he said uh my favorite thing to do in the world is win like that that's what i love to do most more than anything so yeah so if you were wondering does he like call of duty more than winning no winning is number one number one priority that's what he loves to do i don't know why i brought up call of duty that's just so so random 1996 bro what the heck are we talking about in the chat i have no idea. guys can we focus can we focus on on wimby can can we focus a little bit a little bit um, but yeah, Wimby in this game, he had a terrible game, but he wasn't the only one. Uh, everyone in this game had a terrible game. Uh, awful defensive showing. Uh, but somehow, someway, Sohan got all the blame for it. <laughs> um, but yeah, he, he got all the blame for it. Now, before we talk about this, let's talk about our sponsor partnership for this video and the season, BetUS. I'm going to allow them to take it away now. BetUS, America's favorite sports book, where you can bet on everything, anytime. Sportsbook, casino, horse racing, live betting, and more. We have the best bonuses in the industry. That's right, get a 125% sign-up bonus. And to celebrate our 30-year anniversary, we are giving up to 30 risk-free bets, a truck, Super Bowl tickets, and more. Don't miss out. Play smart. Join now. BetUS, where the game begins. All right, so yes, bet us. Um, as you guys know, we talked about it so many times on this channel before, but I, I'm not I'm not done with it yet. Um, if you guys want to sign up for bet us, there's so many different things that you can bet on. Um, all you have to do, you go over to bet us, enter the link in my description, by the way, jump over, over here. We probably care more about basketball, right? And there's so many different things that you can bet on. Some of the ones that's just straight up right off the bat that I always find pretty interesting is championship futures so you can see here who has the least shot at a championship funny enough it's it's not the spurs it's not the spurs it's almost the spurs but detroit pistons charlotte hornets out of curiosity let's see if we put just 25 25 you put in 25 you get twenty five thousand dollars if the charlotte hornets were to make it uh, to or win the championship but anyways that's besides the point uh, all you guys have to do, go to the link in my description. You'll receive 125% bonus. That means if you put $100 in, you're going to get 125 free bucks to play with. So please, link in my description. Go check it out. There's so many different things to bet on, so many different uh, props and, and sports books. It's some great stuff. So yeah, bet US. Good, 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 great, wonderful stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this video. Where I lost it already. Oh, God. This makes me sad just looking at it. Look at his face. Look at his face, dude. Um, should we speed it up? Nah, it's not speed it up. It's just listen. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's the big difference in uh, the energy we put uh, starting defensively. You know, uh, tonight they they were the you know they were going at us and we weren't going at them. Uh, would it? I'm not a genius. I'm not. Okay. I'm not. All right. M many of, many of people have said this, but I do feel validated. I will say that I'm not, I'm not the smartest guy in the world. Okay. When it comes to, to basketball, I know the San Antonio Spurs, but I'm, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but good God, I feel validated right now. Did I not say this like 50 million times during this live stream? Is that the Spurs keep getting punched in the mouth and not, they're not punching back. It's like constant. It's like it's it's like beyond the the fundamentals. It's it's beyond it's a mental thing at this point. It's it's beyond anything else. It's like people are saying it, the point the problem is we don't have a point guard. The problem is we don't have this. The problem is that we don't have that. The problem is this. The problem is this player. The problem is we need to trade this player. The problem is Popovich. And it's like no no no. The problem is the team just isn't fighting back yet. <laughs> like like they they did early early in the season, but after and we play some tough games and it's been tough. But last few games, just been getting your butt whooped and not fighting back. It's frustrating. Like, you got to fix that before we start talking about what is it that the Spurs need to do on a fundamental basis. I don't know. Play hard first. I agree on the mental side. It's definitely a mental thing. They're not closing out. Like, these are professional NBA players, okay? They know how to close out. 
All right, this isn't a middle school team. They know how to close it. It's just the effort isn't there. They're like, they're like demoralized. They get punched and then they just like lay down. It's like, oh, well, guess we're not winning this one. I don't know what's up with that. And it's not every player. It's just as a whole. I feel like Sohan, uh, Wimby been pretty consistent with trying to fight back. But one problem with Wimby, he's a, he's a rookie, okay? But one problem with Wimby is I think that sometimes, and this is more of a team effort too. They need to, you know, come in and say, hey, we need to get you some easy shots because he's not getting a lot of easy shots. Um, but with Wimby, he'll start to settle for like three pointers and they're not bad shots per se, but for him with his percentages, they are. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know. They, they need to punch them in the mouth as in getting him the ball in the paint. And when you have the opportunity, lob it up and don't hesitate. I feel like Devonte Graham did a phenomenal job at that at getting him the ball quickly, uh, when he saw it open. That's another why, reason why I like Kado. I think Kado would, uh, kill with a guy like Wimby. I'm sorry, I can't hear this guy at all. We just gotta listen to this. Um, you know, he's got a lot of responsibilities. He's talking about Sohan. Okay. The court and, uh, he's doing his best to respect the coach's game plan. And uh, yeah, you know, we got a we got a long term vision and we're we're not close, but we're on the right path, you know. And, uh, there it is! Again! Sohan playing point guard is a long-term vision, all right? It's not great right now. Short-term is going to suck. Long-term is going to be great. Doesn't mean that he's going to be our point guard for life. Doesn't mean that he's our primary point guard. Everyone knows Popovich isn't dumb. Everyone on the San Antonio Spurs know. We can see it, too, on our couches that Sohan is more comfortable when he's at the power forward slash small forward position. Everyone knows it. Everyone knows he's more of a post scoring playmaker. He's not a straight up point guard. All right. We, we all know it. Shut up about it. Okay. This is a long-term thing. It's, it's, it's not something that's just going to just, just, just going to be like this forever. All right. It's a, it's a long-term project. It's going to be fine. And it's just going to be another tool in this toolbox. Good God. Shh. P Mark, are you serious? Sohan needs to develop his point guard skills in the G League, not the NBA. Are we joking? Are you saying that Sohan needs to be in the G League? Are you kidding me right now? Are you serious? Dude, not, not even Malachi is in the G League, right? You really think Sohan needs to develop his point guard skills in the G League? For what? So he goes to the G League, develops his point guard skills while we continue to lose? What are you talking about? We getting blown out too often? Is that Sohan's fault? Okay, just take Sohan out of the mix and throw him in the G League. Then what? We're not getting blown out no more? It's, a, it's all Sohan? The, the team as a whole tonight shot like 30%. Come on, man. It's someday is going to pay up. How, how does... Oh, you see that? He just said it. Hold on. Someday is going to pay off. In the right path, you know. And, uh, it's someday is going to pay up. How, how does... Cat punched Clay? Okay, I got to look that up after this. Hiccups, you said? The, when he has the mistakes. When okay. He has, he's, he's kind of, you know, playing through all this to, to know, hey, uh, this is the long term vision we want you to do this. You, you have a back in the coach, you have a back in the how, how, Is it hard to kind of. I mean, it's, uh, it's not, I mean, yes, for him, but just for anybody else, you know. There's, uh, I couldn't name one of us who didn't do mistakes, so it's the same for everyone. Ruru just gave a super chat. Thank you for the $10, Ruru. She said, F that clan. If this continues, we will have another LaMarcus issue and guys are going to demand trades and not want to be here. Pop not turning Sohan into magic. Okay, that's not the point. All right, so first off with the LaMarcus Aldridge issue, the issue was LaMarcus came to the San Antonio Spurs thinking that he would be the main guy and Kawhi ended up developing far ahead of what the Spurs even imagined and he ended up being the main guy. So LaMarcus Aldridge was promised something that didn't necessarily pan out but even yet and still LaMarcus Aldridge 
even though he asked out at that one point in time, he stayed with the team. All right. He believed in the team. He stayed with the team. And, you know, he basically did the rest of his good years with San Antonio. So first off, nothing happened with the LaMarcus Aldridge, Aldridge thing. All right. The, the outcome was he still stayed. Number two, the LaMarcus Aldridge issue was com- is completely different than what we're seeing num- right now. And number three, Pop isn't trying to turn Sohan into Magic Johnson. That's not that's not the point. It's just another tool in his toolbox for the future when we do get our point guard. It's just right now, as it stands right here, the point of the San Antonio Spurs is is still in the development mode. You're trying to win. You're trying to uh, 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 do your best to, to put yourself in position to get into the playoffs, hopefully, possibly. Um, but that's not the whole point right now. The point is, the, as and, and here's the thing. The team buys into it, all right? Wimbanyama just said that he bought buying into it, basically. He's like, there's a long-term vision here. It's not just right now. It's a long-term vision. Nope, Pop tried to change LaMarcus' game instead of let him be him. That is not true. Popovich allowed LaMarcus Aldridge to play his game for the majority of his tenure with the San Antonio Spurs. The point in which it had to change was near the tail end in which we needed him to be more of a stretch big. But obviously, he he wasn't that. We just needed more threes, you know, the in, in general even even we tried to do it with uh DeRozan and that didn't pan out um but as far as the market market yeah as far as the market market LaMarcus Aldridge numbers he had phenomenal mar- uh, numbers with the San Antonio Spurs and when Kawhi left it became LaMarcus Aldridge's team it just wasn't obviously not good enough um Pop even said it was true stop what what do you what are you what are you talking about that he tried to change look Popovich needed LaMarcus Aldridge to adjust because we had Kawhi Leonard. It wasn't this whole thing where he just said, okay, LaMarcus, you 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 got to do this thing now. You only do this thing now. That's that was that's not what happened. And when and when Kawhi left, then it was just straight up just LaMarcus Aldridge free for all and he put up his numbers, but we didn't do anything. But you had to adjust. I mean, Kawhi was that good. I don't know. Anyone else also enjoy when Ruru and Clan argue. We argue all the time. We're like brother and sister at this point. Pop has told us a lot that he's still just observing, watching how you play, what you like, what you don't like. Do you, do you uh, enjoy the way he's coaching you right now? Is that something you appreciate? Yeah, even though I know it's uh, you know, we, it's uh, he's trying to learn from from us as, just as much as we're learning from him, and uh, it's it's gonna be. As I told you, it's, it's going to be a, a long-term project, and it's uh, yeah, we're you know we are experimenting some stuff, and but this is the way I like to play is is when we win, you know. So we you know we got a lot to adjust. So he pulled you aside at a timeout, like middle. Of- Wait, what did he say? Hold on, what was that last part he said? Am I looking too into that? Hold on, let me listen to it again. The way I like to play is is when we win, you know. So we, you know, we got a lot to adjust. So he pulled you aside at the timeout. Like- the way he likes to play is when we win. I don't think that's a criticism of what's going. I, I don't. I don't really. Qu- Chad, do you understand this part? I don't quite. I don't quite understand this part. I mean, I feel like because I've been watching Wimby this whole season just with you guys, and I feel like he's played the same way the whole time. Well, actually, I feel like he's been less physical the last couple games. I don't know. Uh, what the F is Wimby supposed to say? He's trusting his coaches that this process is going to work. You can tell he's visibly upset, and I think it affects effort also. Yeah, I, th- I think the team as a whole is pretty upset with losing. Um but I don't know how much has changed from when we were getting W. I mean, the the first four or five games of the season, pretty doggone competitive, right? So I don't know. I'm a Spurs fan for years, and I hate how the Rockets have turned things around much faster than us. What? I don't know. I'm not going to yell at you anymore, P Mark. Somebody like Chet Holmgren on the other team, somebody who's almost as tall as you, who does some of the things you do. What 
was that challenge like? What is it like looking at Chet on the other end that does some of the same things you do? What's that challenge like? I don't even know what that means. Uh, I don't know. Chet plays within his system. He does a good job. Um, I mean, tall guys who handle the ball. There's almost one in, the, in every team now. You know, the way basketball is evolving. You know, it's it's a constant, uh, constant, how do you say? Uh, yeah. Adaptation, constant adaptation, you know, with the scouting report. And um, and uh, yeah, it's you know, there's good players in every team, but there's also great players in almost every team, and it's always a challenge to to react. I know you guys. And by the way, keep in mind that the scouting report for uh, Wimby is stupid long. We we looked at the example early on in the season, and I'm sure it's only gotten worse for us. <laughs> but God, they had so much written there about how to handle Wimby, and I feel like these. I feel like Wimby, I don't want to say he allowed this because he hasn't necessarily allowed this, um, but it, it's, well, no, I guess I could say this. Yeah, I could say that. I feel like teams have figured out Wimby in a way to kind of get him like not involved as much in the offense, and he hasn't fought back as strong as he probably could have. Guard each other a ton tonight. He's not counteracting it. Are you exhausted with that aware. comparison? You weren't aware that you no. were comparing you guys? I mean, of course, but just like, just like every prospect's been compared to everyone. I think your first game against him was the... That's what's up. The U19 World Cup couple years ago. Victor Ch That's a good point, July. He probably just needs a haircut. I feel much better. When when my hair grows out and I cut it down and then I, I dye it, I feel better. See, look. I got it dyed right now. It's kind of okay. It's kind of it's kind of fuzzy. I think it's got I got this hat on. It's usually more curly and looks better than this. But th yeah, that makes me that makes me feel better. So I think he needs to just line line it up a little. He got he got a kind of uh, <laughs> he got a he got kind of the uh, Prince of All Saiyans haircut going on right now. You know what I mean? What do you remember about that haircut? Um. When I remember, uh, you know, it, it goes back, but still it's something I, I keep on, you know, that's still on my mind. I remember being part of a, a great, great team, great national team. Oh, yeah, Ruru, you need braided. Wait, can we have both? Uh, not only do we need braided Wimby, we need dyed hair braided Wimby. Uh, one of the teams I, I like to play along the most. Prince of all prospects, yeah. Good connections with, with each other. You know, great guys on that team, and it's it was a real pleasure to play in that in that campaign. And uh, yeah, we, you know, I think we had before the, the competition started, we probably had one team practice, and still we made it to the finals, and made it almost all the way. You know, and tough tough stop, but it was a great experience. Good stuff. All right, great stuff. Um, yeah, not a lot you can take from this game. I've said this already. Um, I feel like I'm trying my best to be as even, like, fair about this whole thing as much as possible. Number one, obviously the Spurs need a point guard. That's not something that's going to happen right now. And with Sohan running the point guard, I think that that's a really good thing for the long term, okay? Number two, the Spurs need a defensive uh, small forward, okay? And that might be something you can trade for, but... It, it's fine either way if they did want to wait for that after this season. That's cool, too. And number three, Greg Popovich needs to start pl uh, calling plays. I mean, he he has to start calling plays. Um, it's getting so bad to the point where now I think that it's starting to become... It's start, I said this earlier, but it's starting to become kind of dangerous not running plays. I mean, these guys are putting them... They, I don't know why... They, this, the spacing's terrible, and they're putting themselves in positions to get hurt at this point. Um, with some of these I mean these turnovers um, are atrocious and then running into transition they're putting themselves in positions to, to get hurt it's it's very sloppy play 
and it looks it looks pretty bad. So, and Popovich has said that he's going to eventually start calling plays again. Uh, right now, it was a matter of just seeing if they can kind of figure it out and figure it, each other out. But I think it's I think this team mentally um, is is becoming a little bit more like demoralizing. But luckily, you do, and this is where Keldon Johnson does come in play. Lucky you do have guys like Keldon and Sohan um, that can kind of keep that that tough demeanor and and and, and help the team out a little bit. So. Um, I think we'll be fine and keep in mind guys it's not like this team right now even how it's constructed is a winning team okay it's a lot of mismatched players it's a mixture of so many different players like it, this is not a team where you you're you got the women winning formula i mean i can't even go as far as to say it's built around wimby wimby hasn't even figured out his game yet you can't build around a player that hasn't figured out his game yet so it's just ugly <laughs> and that's fine it's fine you know you're not gonna be you're not gonna be pretty all the time it's all right um but yeah in this segment in this segment 